Hi everyone. Okay, right, for some reason my phone just decided to cut off and I was carrying on and I didn't realise. So, um, I've just put it back on now, but I've obviously done this bit and I haven't shown you how. Um, so we got to the bit where I was trying to untie my elastic. So by that time then I thought my camera was still going, but it obviously wasn't. So if I could just try and walk you through this as best as I can. Um, so grab your elastic, okay? Now, to do this, you would need to come from the outside, all right? So bring your elastic through from the outside, the, the front of the book, then this side of the book, through, okay? You take that elastic up to the top, through to the top hole on the right, okay? Then you take it back out that side and you bring it in through the middle hole. Then you take it down through the middle hole, and into the left hole, okay? Take this up to the top, into the middle hole, uh, into the left hole, sorry, and then you'll have a piece of elastic, okay? You only need a tiny, you know, to get you to here, to tie it up. So what you wanna do then is put that elastic then through into the middle hole, all right? So you have two bits going into the middle hole, okay? And then that ties up with your other end, okay? So your other end then will be sticking out like this out to the back, all right? So you wanna cut off a bit to get it to here. And then again, do the same thing. Just thread it through the middle hole. Grab them together. Pull them tight, but not too tight because you don't want your book to buckle. And then just tie this bit together then, okay? So I hope that's okay. Um, then what you wanna do then for your closure is to, Find your middle score line. I eyeball it and just sort of find my middle. So that's about my middle point, I think. So yeah, so I just tend to generally you I haven't got a like um a crop but you know those biked crop dials and I haven't got an anywhere punch either, so I just have to do it with my pointy stick. So I will go in about there. So just go in and then what I do then is I make my hole try not to stamp myself and then just push it through okay then I come back through this side and push it through that side as well okay so that's my closure so I'll cut off a bit of elastic so that's about enough put it in half okay Grab the bit there where it folds and then just put this and take it and in there. Okay, now I have to tend to use my pokey tool to try and do this because it's a little bit fiddly. Okay, sometimes you can get it through, sometimes you can't. Other times it works straight away, woohoo! Right, so pull that through. Okay, and then you just wanna that's about right for me there. Okay, so just make sure you keep it as still as possible. And then I just need to tie that in the front. So you could do that there, like that. I tend to pull it through and double knot it. Okay, get those, and that should be where I want it now. Yeah. All right, so that's that. And then you just put your inserts in. Um, so we have got, so I'm gonna go in the front. Then I tend to put another one in. Say this one can go next. Okay, then I tend to put my folder in. And then my last insert is this one. And that is us done. And 
dust it okay and that's when I tend to decorate it up then I'll go back through and I'll put my stickers on things I'll put some tags in the back here um like so um yeah we can have a little Santa Claus here okay and then we'll do the same in the folder put some of the tags in all of them for Christmas just leave one in and this is why I go through and I just make tags of things it's just easier so that reindeer one there that one okay and that's all I do pretty much that in there and then like I say I'll use the stickers and I might go back and just put some word stickers in and um, put some stickers on there and I might laminate one of the front and put something on the front but I like the way that looks without anything so I'll probably just put a charm on there um, and not bother with laminating anything and then obviously your page marker where's my page marker gone here I would get like I'll probably do like a red bow or something on a red paper clip and I will attach it to here okay on one of these anyway it doesn't really matter where you attach it um or on the folder okay and then for the pen holder sometimes I attach pens sometimes I don't I have this sort of label punch and it's just you know just big enough to sort of um hold a pen um and then what I do is I just punch out some of the paper I round this I've got a pen now to show you the kicks. Okay, so obviously pretend this is red or something that goes with the paper. Um, and then what I'll tend to do is just sort of eyeball it, glue it onto the last page front. Okay, and then just sort of glue that down with the pen in so that I know where I'm going. And then glue it on that side and then glue it on that side, take your pen out, make sure it's all nice and burnished. Um, lots of people put like sellotape and that over the years. I haven't done that on mine. I don't think you really need to, but it's up to you. Um, more for like wear and tear and things. But yeah, that's another option. Again, you don't have to have a pen, but if you do, then that's what I generally tend to do. Um, people have got like the tab uh, board where I think they make sort of like pen holders and stuff and you can actually buy them. I think I've seen them in work. Um, where you can buy like the elasticated ones and put the pen holder there but this is the way I do mine so like I say I'm not telling you that's the right way to do it um, you do it how you please but I just glue that on there put my pen in there okay so that's about it so I'm going to stop now and I'm going to try and upload these videos I'm going to have to be in two parts now because it turned off which is a little bit silly which I didn't really want it to do but um that's okay. I'm going to go back around and corner my edges because they are quite sharp if you don't corner them. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much how I make my TMs. So I hope you enjoyed. Um, like I say, I love making them. Um, and yeah, this one will probably go on to my Etsy shop now. And um, yeah, so I shall speak to you all soon. Thank you so much for joining me and thank you for bearing with me um, while I did this video. If you found any of it boring, like I say, skip parts that you don't need to watch. Um, honestly, you've probably seen this about a billion times, but yeah, I just wanted to show you how I make mine. Okay, so I'm going to tidy up my mess now. Look at all this mess on my desk. Terrible. Right, I shall speak to you soon. Thanks, guys, for watching. Bye.